Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do a feature video on our model CB6900. The CB6900 is a more advanced machine than our, our model CB341. Some of the key features for the 6900 that make it a little bit different than the 341 is the fact that it has a double thread tension mechanism. Now this is not a double needle machine, it's still a single needle machine, but the advantage is if you're using heavy thread, you have the option of using this tensioner in addition to the primary tensioner which is right here, which will allow you to put greater thread tension on the heavier thread and allow it to pull the stitch up a lot nicer. In addition, this machine features an automatic lubrication system, unlike the 341, which is just a manual lubrication system. And you can see here there's a little oil percolator window right here that shows the oil level as the machine is operating. The machine also has an integrated bobbin winder, which again is a little bit different than our model CB341. The integrated bobbin winder on this machine just makes it a little bit um, easier to wind a bobbin as opposed to having a bobbin winder mounted here on the wooden top. Also, it saves a little space on the wooden top on this side so you don't have something blocking it. Also, the machine has uh, an adjustable walk, walking foot ratio adjuster mechanism on the top of the machine to control the ratio of walk between the inside foot and the outside foot. We also do have some additional attachments that are available for this machine, and these are optional add-ons should you want to purchase them additionally. We have a handy drop-down material guide, which comes with this machine, which we do have mounted to this particular unit. Uh, just mounts on the back with a couple of screw holes, and it, it uh, lowers down uh, when you're using it. And when you're not using it and you want it out of the way, you can simply raise it up out of the way. We also have a very nice stainless steel flatbed tabletop attachment, which mounts over the arm of the machine, sitting in approximately this position over top the arm of the machine and that provides a nice solid work platform if you're interested in sewing flat items and you can also change the bobbin with this flatbed tabletop attachment attached because there is a net, there is a the required slot distance to, to open this uh, slide plate on the machine so you can you can push it to the side and be able to change a bobbin so I'm going to go ahead and do some demonstrational stitching with this machine. And we have it set up with, I believe, to be a size six, uh, 92 bonded nylon thread. And I've got two layers of approximately three to four ounce leather here. Again, we have our HVP70 servo motor attached to the unit. But in addition, we have it coupled to our box style speed reducer, which gives you added punching power when going through heavyweight materials. One other nice feature about this machine is that it does have the knee lifter mechanism directly out in front of the machine so that if you wanted to raise the presser foot you could easily do so. And let me grab my material back up again. And then we'll go ahead and do some sample stitching for you guys so you can see how it works. So again, two layers of three to four ounce Karemtan upholstery leather. We're going to go ahead and stick that in the machine and see how it goes. Now I've got this set to extremely low RPM. This machine could go much faster than this uh, if you wanted it to. But again, I have it set at, at an extremely low RPM so that we can see the stitching. So I'm just gonna start sewing here down the piece. I'm going to go ahead and activate my knee lifter, make a 90 degree turn. And again, activate the knee lifter mechanism for the 90 degree. And again, turn for 90 degrees. And I just did pretty much a complete box pattern around the work. I'm going to go ahead and trim my threads. And 
and we can get a look at how nice that stitching is. So you can see the stitching is very evenly spaced. Um, the lines are very clean, very straight. And on the back side of the material, you're probably not going to be able to see this too well because the thread matches the back of the material. But you can see the stitching is pulled up extremely well on the back side of the material. Very tight stitches. So that's two layers of three to four ounce chrome tan upholstery leather with very nice evenly spaced stitches on it. Now we're going to try a little bit more challenging piece, which is going to be about four layers of heavy duty chrome tan upholstery leather. And this is probably, and it's probably somewhere between a quarter and three eighths of an inch thick. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the machine. Presser foot lift on the machine is right at or a little over a half inch. So you can certainly fit any type of material you would like to underneath it. So we've got four layers of chrome tan upholstery leather here. And again, you'll notice on this machine much less likelihood of ply slipping because of the fact that we do have the compound feed walking foot mechanism on this machine, which means that it feeds from the top side, the bottom side, and also the needle feeds as well. So the result is you get very nice evenly spaced stitches with no material puckering. And just to show you how nice the reverse works on this machine, I'm going to go ahead and gauge the reverse mechanism and back up about four stitches. And then we'll go ahead and take the material out. And we'll go ahead and show you what that looks, looks like. Now I want to show you where I backed up, which is right here. And really you can't tell any difference between the forward stitch and the reverse stitch with the exception of the where I actually engaged the reverse and backed up five stitches, the thread looks a little bit heavier because you're cramming down two layers of thread where it was only intended for one. But if you see from here to here, this area, you can see how clean the stitching looks and it matches it 100% hole for hole. You can always tell a high quality leather sewing machine by its ability to match the stitching hole for hole. So you can see all the way around again, stitching looks very good. We'll flip the piece over. I, made a little bobble here because I didn't have the piece folded over all the way, but you can see here along this edge four layers, and again along this edge four layers. So the stitching looks very nice, it's very clean, and it's also uh, uh, very, very uh, tight as far as its ability to hold the material, or to compress the material and compress the layers. So overall, the small 6900 is a very good sewing machine for people that are interested in a higher quality unit, probably suited more towards heavier production. Again, it does feature quite a few more features than our Model 341. So the machine is um, an excellent uh, machine for individuals who are looking for just a little bit more. So if you have any additional questions on this machine, please feel free to contact me directly. My name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. You can reach me at area code 330-692-1418, and I do thank you for your time today.